Hello guys, welcome to another quick tip. Today I will teach you how to use Unity together with Git. Um, I assume that you have already your Git set up. You have, a, a, for example, a GitHub account and your Git client. And you have created a Git project for your Unity project. Yeah, um, if you have that, um, we can start. You need two things to achieve this. The first is, um, in default, Unity um, serialize your um, component, uh, your components, or prefabs, or scenes, or materials, um, this kind of stuff, um, in binary mode or mixed mode. Um, that means if you open your files outside Unity with a text editor, um, it only contains unreadable stuff. But for Git, we need to make it readable. Um, for example, if we work with multiple, um, yeah, um, persons on this. Um, if you have a merge conflict, um, you have to know what um, the authors have changed and what you um, have to, yeah, merge and whatnot. Uh, and you change this under Edit, Project Settings, Editor. And here under Asset Serialization, <laughs> um, you can change your mode. Default is mixed. You have to set it on force text. Um, if you have a lot of files, it takes a moment. It just um, have to change the files that are in binary mode to text mode. I uh, have to convert it, basically. And um, if you have an um, asset server, um, that means you can um, upload you basically your meta files to your asset server. You can download this server on the Unity website. Um, you can configure it here, um, asset server. Um, and yeah, there are a lot of other settings for version control, but that's not important. Just let it um, on hide meta files. Only change the force text feel, uh, to force text. Then um, you basically basically can save your scene and your project. Do this um, before every commit. Um, otherwise, you have uploaded your change but um, you forgot to upload your changed scene, for example. And um, But if you use this setup, you have the problem that the other um, workers um, that works for you on your project have your meta files. But everyone should have his own meta files uh, because they don't need them. You don't need to synchronize them, otherwise you have only problems with them. And because of this, we need a um, um, .git ignore file. Um, this contains regex um, strings for the file names that um, git don't have to sync synchronize to the git server. Um, I have found a very good um, one um, on this site. The link is in the description. Just scroll down a bit and here you can see the um, .git ignore file. All you have to do is um, go in your in your uh, asset folder with Explorer, and you can right-click in the free space, show an Explorer, and I can show you, for example, the scene in text serialized mode. You can right-click your um, scene file with um, oh yeah with your favorite text editor, and you can see here we have. Um, um, a YML file that contains our settings for the scene. And that's the same thing with um, every other um, object. Um, you also see that we have um, some meta files that um, I think these are, yeah, these are synced to the um, GitHub server, but there are other meta files or point. Yeah, we can look up here. Um, for example, the um, SLN file for, uh, from Visual Studio, um, or the um, build um, the the build um, folder. We don't want to uh, synchronize our builds. Yeah, and because of this, um, we just um, I just throw my handy away. <laughs> um, um, we we just copy this file. Um, this this con the content of the file. Um, create a new file. A text file, name it dot git ignore, and 
Um, yeah, okay. Uh, we have a problem now because Windows don't want files that have no um, name and um, dot git ignore don't have a name only a uh, yeah suffix and um, because of this ah here's actually a download fi uh, link just click on this I don't uh, search this for um, just click on this and right here you can find the button download gist that's in a tar dot gz datai uh, file um, for uh, to open this you need uh, yeah for example WinRAR and just drag and drop this um, in your folder um, but I always do this in the main folder of my project not in the assets not in the library not in the not in any folder in the main root of your project for example my um, parent folder is G Unity Projects, and in there I have a folder for every project. And in like my Tips and Tricks folder, there's um, there's my Git ignore. Yeah, um, yeah. But this only works for files. If you if you have um, synced your bro synchronized your project with Git before, then it won't work because it only works for files that um, aren't already on your GitHub server. Okay, I hope I could help you. If you like, uh, if you like my video, yeah, <laughs> like it. And if you want to want more videos about more quick tips about Unity, then subscribe. Hope I could help you. Bye.